In this video, we'll look at how to set up custom actions for your presentations in Clever. For the demonstration, I'm using a free 3D model from the SketchUp 3D Warehouse. You can find it at bit.ly forward slash Clever House. I've imported it into the Architecture Daylight 8am preset, which you can find on the Create Project screen. As you can see, the presentation comes with two steps already set up. You can think of steps as being like slides in a PowerPoint presentation. Each one has a camera view associated with it. If you publish the presentation, which you can do by going to the Project menu and selecting Publish, you can see that when the viewer clicks on the arrow buttons in the interface, the presentation moves from one step to the next. To add a new action to your presentation, go to the Insert menu and click Action. As you can see, there are three options. We'll start with Show Hide Objects. To assign it to the presentation, select it, then click anywhere in the viewport. You can see that the properties for the action appear on the right of the screen. First, we need to choose the object in the scene that we want to hide. Click the Hide Objects drop down. As you can see, you can choose to hide either interface elements or geometry. In this scene, Untitled 1 is the default name for the house model. We're going to hide the next and previous buttons, so select them in the list. When you're done, click OK. Now we need to choose a trigger for the action. In this case, we're going to set it to trigger when the viewer leaves the first step of the presentation. To do this, Click the On Exit Step drop down. In the Active Steps dialog, choose 1, then click OK. This time, when the presentation is published, you can see that clicking the Next button to move to Step 2 causes both buttons to disappear. The next action type is Delayed Execution. This enables you to set a delay before the presentation performs a task. In this case, we're going to make it move automatically to the next step. Again, click anywhere in the viewport to assign the action. In the Action drop-down of the Properties panel, choose Next Step. The Delay setting lets you specify the length of the delay. Enter a figure of 2000. This corresponds to a two-second pause. This time we want the action to trigger as soon as the presentation loads, so go to the Run On Setup drop-down and set it to On. When the presentation is published, you can see that it waits for two seconds, then automatically moves to the next step. The final action type is Camera Idle. This works in a similar way to Delayed Execution, but triggers every time the presentation is idle. Again, click anywhere in the viewport to assign the action. In the Action drop-down in the Properties panel, choose Next Step. In the Delay setting, enter a value of 2000. This time, when the presentation is published, you can see that it automatically changes step every two seconds and carries on doing so indefinitely. You can assign animations to your presentation in the same way. You can find them by going to the Insert menu and clicking Animation. Modify Material and Colorize Object change the colour of a material and of an entire object in the scene respectively. 3D Movement animates the motion of an object in the scene. You can find separate tutorials exploring these in detail, so we won't cover them here. Instead, choose Change Opacity. Click anywhere in the viewport to create the animation. The Target Object dialog lets you choose which object in the scene you want to assign it to. Untitled 1 is the default name for the house model, so select it and click OK. 
In the Opacity setting in the Properties panel, enter a value of 100. This will make the house model semi-transparent. Let's set the animation to trigger when the viewer leaves the first step of the presentation. Again, click the On Exit Step drop-down. In the Active Steps dialog, select 1, then click OK. This time, when the presentation is published, you can see that clicking on the Next button triggers the change of opacity.